Hey, what's going on everybody? Mike here from AX Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another Honda Civic FKA Limited Edition. This is number 550. Now over on the table, we have a bunch of goodies. Let's go over there and take a look and see what we got. All right, John, seems like we got a whole lot going on on the table here. Now, before we start, we have two sets of springs. What is going on here? So what we have here is the RSR downs. Um, these are brand new. They haven't been installed in anything. And what we have here are the Swift springs. So from what you were telling me, I think it's like a quarter inch difference. These go a little bit lower than the RSR downs. So these springs, it's funny story is the guy who owns this car, he, this is his third Type R. He had bought these for a previous one. He ended up getting rid of the car, gave them to a buddy of his. His buddy parted the car out, so the springs came home. These are the ones he actually wanted, so that's what's gonna go on the car there. These are probably just gonna go on the shelf or see if someone else wants to pick them up. What we have here is our PRL high volume intake. Very awesome, we've installed this, I believe, on David's car and a few other cars, LEs in particular. I have this on my Integra as well. Um, it's not yet released. Maybe by the time this video comes out, it will be available for purchase on PRL's website. Very awesome. Fits almost like an OEM with the uh, plastic injection molded filter housing and also keeps the heat sink away. Uh, these are really great. I love them. Get lots of turbo sounds from it. That's also very nice. We have our little stick on spoon wide view mirror. That's a real easy install. And then here you go, oof. SW388s. Nothing like some spoon wheels. And you don't have to pronounce that any differently. It's just spoon. Um, these are the wheels here. These are the new redesigned ones. They're made in Japan. They're not made in Russia like the older ones. These are pretty awesome. We have them in a 18 by nine and a half, plus 40, five by 120. These things fit perfect. We've mounted a couple sets before. Um, really looking forward to these. We'll see what tires, that's the only thing we don't have. We don't have the tires yet, they come in tomorrow. And here's the really nice one. I have not had the pleasure of installing one of these yet. This is the Spoon N1 exhaust. Um, this is like two twin N1 mufflers coming out the back of the car. From the pictures I've seen, they're pretty nice. We have seen it on Greg's car that we painted over here, uh, with the one with all the spoon parts on it. So we get to install that on this LE. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what everything looks like out of the box. All right, so we got everything out the box. We have our front pipe here, our canister exhaust system. Very, very nice with all the factory mounting points. We have our mid pipes right here with the resonators. So this thing's got two resonators, two mufflers, and it should sound pretty awesome. We've heard it on Greg's car. 
Uh, I believe he had a stock catalytic converter on there like this too. But we're gonna go ahead, get the car up in the air, remove the splash shields, and start swapping all this good stuff out. Then it's on to the suspension. So now we got car up in the air. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and remove the engine splash so we get the full access for the front pipe. So we have everything exposed and we can see our front pipe here. This is our stock front pipe uh, with the flex pipe built into it. And now come right over here. We have exhaust mount right here. Right here is where it bolts up to the exhaust system. We have three bolts right there. Resonator, another couple hangers, another resonator. Let's see, and then the defining part on every FK8 are three tips. It also means three mufflers. Um, you can see this one's very little. It probably has something to do with exhaust note, but everything here is coming off. And another thing, if you notice, this whole exhaust is one piece. So it's not like this one where it can break down into something small. It's kind of a pain to store because it all comes in one piece. So that's one thing to always take into note when you actually get this installed. If you want to keep your stock exhaust, it's not going to be easy to move around. So let's go ahead and get this thing taken off and we'll get the new one put on.
right, so we got all of the beautiful spoon stuff installed on here. Fits like OEM, no issues. Everything mounts in the factory location, and it is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, this thing sounds like stock, but a little bit better. I bet once we go ahead and get this thing on the road, it'll sound really good. Everything fits exactly like it should. All the hangers, and man, look at that. That thing is, oof, it's beautiful. So we got the exhaust installed. Our next step is the high volume PRL intake. And here it is here. It's designed to fit in the factory space that the stock air box fits in. And it's injection molded plastic. So we have no heat sink. This is our access panel that gives us access to the air filter, which sits inside here. The air filter is a proprietary PRL one here, and it works with a velocity stack right here and that will adapt to this which bolts into here kind of like that very nice setup very similar to the one that we have on the new integra and we also have a replacement for the factory piping and they all come with these awesome color step by step with pictures everyone loves pictures even I like pictures because sometimes we get stuff and it's in Japanese and the pictures help. This is step-by-step -step installation guide. This is worth its weight in gold if you don't haven't done one before. All of our mounting brackets, our extra loom, and this breather adapter, all necessary hardware included. And now the next thing we're going to have to do is go ahead and remove the stock one. And then we'll have to swap a couple parts over, mock it up, get it installed. These things are awesome. You hear lots of great turbo sounds from this. This is out of all the different intakes we've installed over the years here on the FK8s. This is definitely our favorite one. PRL quality, second to none.
So we got our loom removed. We have some loom that's gonna go over this right here. We're gonna be rerouting this underneath the air box and over there. So let's go ahead and grab the loom. Once we put it on here, we can install the air box, put our little pipe in, and then this thing's almost done. All right, so we're all done with the airbox and also the exhaust next up, we got a suspension. Yeah, so we have the Swift Springs install. We're gonna start with the easiest one first. We're gonna do the rear, then we'll move up to the front. We have a little trick to get it done a little faster. We're gonna go ahead and do that so we can knock this out pretty quick. But Mike's gonna go ahead and, we're, and me, we're gonna start taking off the wheels and then we're gonna work on the back. It's not too bad, but take a look and watch. So you can see that Kevin already had the, um, a, how do you pronounce that? Right. These really nice spacers. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it, you can read it. But he had these spacers on here to give the stock BBS forged wheels a little bit better stance. But now that we're gonna go with the spoons, we're not gonna need these. So we'll go ahead and take these off and return to them. All right, so we just got our intake done. We did the rear springs already. Our exhaust is on. Now we're up to the front here. Um, the Type R FK8 is pretty special in its front suspension setups like no other Honda, really like no other car. 
it not only does it have big old Brembo's, but it has this double ball joint situation here and it makes this car handle like a dream. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Pretty simple, we'll take our sway bar off, disconnect our strut, remove these bolts and pull this thing right out. All right, so we have our strut right here. We're gonna go ahead and put it into our wall-mounted spring compressor, compress this thing, pull the spring out, swap it out. So let's get this set up over here.
All right, so we got a suspension all done and we waited two days. We finally got the tires. Some Yokohama, huh, John? Oh yeah, Yokohama, baby. These are some really nice, where are they here? They're Apexes, Advan Apexes. They're nice, we looked at it, it's a 280 treadwear. It's an ultra high performance summer tire. Um, but these are definitely gonna be good for our customer. He's gonna love it. So I think we're gonna go ahead, use the supplied valve stems that came with it, which are just rubber valve stems for these. Um, no TPMS sensors in the FK8. Mount them up and put on the car, align it. It's done. So to finish off the spoon wheels, we have a set of spoon sanding caps and also a set of spoon lug nuts. Take a look at these. Really, really cool. And also a sanding cap also come in the black finish. I personally like them. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. You like the sanding cap or without the sanding caps? Some wheel can actually pull it off without a sanding cap, like TE37. But I think the spoon wheel looks better with the sanding cap, especially the newer car. Now in the older car, EGEK, I think they didn't get away without a Santa cap, but for the new car, definitely need to put on a Santa cap.
All right, John, looking pretty good right here. Um, the good thing about these springs, they were on another type bar before, so it's already been settled. It's got a really good ride height on it. Yeah. And um, I think we'll do just fine here. Yeah, I mean, I think everything's gonna work out fine. Um, I think the drop looks perfect. I know Kevin, I know he's gonna love this drop. But um, all we got left to do is check the alignment on it. And uh, I think we gotta stick that mirror on it too. And yeah, this one, right there. this is probably gonna be our hardest install of the night. All right, so we're ready to install the mirror. First thing we're gonna do is wipe it down with some alcohol to get all the boogers and oils that are on here. Boogers. Yes, because people sneeze in their car and they sneeze right on their mirrors. There's always boogers on their car. Oh. I know. I know KJ probably sneezes on it all the time too. Yeah, that's terrible. I know, but we're here cleaning it up. This is a COVID killer wipe as well. Now all we have to do is remove our double-sided tape. Now, I'm gonna position it. Yeah, just like that, it's all done. One thing I do want to recommend, whoever installed these uh, mirror glass, do not push too hard on it because it will crack. I've done, I've yes, done, I've done a couple. Yeah, it will crack. And also, this is an overlay. It's not a perfect fit. There are some small gaps here, but that's the way it fits because it is a convex mirror. So it's the wide view one. Ooh, convex. Yeah. Big Ooh. words. That means I can see my face when I drive. <laughs> Very nice. Let's get it on the alignment rack and then we can go shred these new tires. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so here's our initial specs. Uh, negative 37, negative 11 here in the front. Uh, that's what we expect from the toe being off. Uh, the back isn't too far out. Uh, we have 2.6 in the right, 1.8 in the rear. Uh, camber kit would help us to equalize that out. I don't think we're gonna worry about it too much, but let's go ahead and start with our rear toe. This adjustment on our rear toe will affect our front toe. So we'll see how it is after that.
All right, guys, just like that, we are all done here. Before we finish up here, let's do a quick recap. So we start off with a spoon exhaust system, then a PRL cold air high volume intake, a set of swift springs, a spoon SW388 along with a spoon mirror, then we finish off with a four wheel alignment and the car looking just fine. Tell me about it, John. That's right, man. We gave her the, the light spoon treatment with some of the nice performance parts, the wheels, the exhaust, a little bit of you know floss on the inside with the mirror. I think the car looks good. I mean, you can't go wrong with matte black wheels on a yellow car. You know, I would never put yellow wheels on a yellow car, but I'll tell you what, black wheels on a yellow car, beautiful. You guys love what you see. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification before I let you guys go. Definitely will give a quick shout out to PRL and Spoon ESA. Send us all these cool parts. And my name is Mike and I got John right over there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.